What's happening guys? It's your buddy Grizz, and welcome to another episode of Kid Up. This is of course my weekly Battlefield series where you guys get to suggest the class and weapon setups you'd like to see me use, then I go out and get some gameplay with said loadout and do a little review on it. If you want to make a suggestion, all you have to do is leave the loadout in the comments section of this video and it might get chosen for next week's episode. Also, if you see any suggestions from other people down there that sound cool, make sure you give that comment a thumbs up as I usually pick the highest voted one. Now that we have that out of the way, you guys, you crazy, crazy guys, I can kind of see where this series is heading and I'm a little concerned. Some people think it's funny to troll me and leave the most random kits ever in my comments. Just look at what I'm holding in my hands right now. What the hell is that? It looks like a weapon from like Unreal Tournament or Perfect Dark or something. And I know I may have just dated myself a little there, but if you haven't played Perfect Dark or on the glorious system that was the Nintendo 64, then I strongly urge you go download an emulator and try that out because it's a mega classic. So what is this? And who did it come from? Well, this loadout comes to us from the great Choppy BF, who calls this the YOLO loadout. It's the sniper class with the MTAR-21, any of the 4X scopes, and I'm using the ACOG because it was the only one I had. Uh, the heavy barrel, oh god. Uh, bipod. And the blue tiger camo, which he says is important, and I completely agree, good sir. I also threw a green laser sight on there just to give myself something I can work with in uh, panic mode situations. For the sidearm, I've got the naked magnum, which I went ahead and also threw the blue camo on, because that's how I roll. And for gadgets, I've got the PLD and the SOFLAM. And by the way, if you guys like aggressive sniper gameplay, then you should definitely go check out Choppy's channel if you haven't already, because he's like the best quickscoper, man. No, seriously, he's an amazing recon player, and you won't see anything close to what he does from me ever, so yeah, go check him out. But anyway, YOLO loadout, huh? Should be more like the YOKO loadout, standing for you only kill once. I'm not gonna lie, this was a tough class to do well with, but uh, I mean just look at this thing. It's so silly looking, I had to keep trying and not give up on it. I really wanted to get the gameplay for you guys. And you know what? It ended up being a really fun class just to mess around with. So since I did start this series as a review series, let's actually talk about the MTAR 21 for a bit. The MTAR 21 was part of the China Rising DLC pack, as I'm sure you're all aware and finds its home in the carbine category. It is presently the fastest firing carbine at 900 rounds per minute, which makes it a monster in close quarters. I mean, this thing just melts faces in no time at all. And thank God I put that laser sight on there because I'm sure I would not have gotten half the kills I did while playing with this setup without it. Um, it's got the same damage model as your standard assault rifle at 25 high, 18 low, and its bullet velocity is definitely also on the high side at 570 meters per second, and that makes the MTAR-21 also pretty effective at medium range. One major downside to the MTAR I found was its long reload times at a full 3 seconds while empty and 2.5 seconds for the tactical reload. Since its fire rate is so high and it only has a 30 round magazine, the reloads are long and come often. I definitely get running that ACOG optic on the MTAR and I'm sure it would have been much better if I hadn't been running the heavy barrel. Uh, with no barrel attachment, the MTAR is much better in my opinion as the heavy barrel just adds way too much recoil, especially in the absence of a grip. And the bipod was making me laugh every time I reloaded dude. Oh my god, it's just so silly looking. Anyway, what I decided to do was completely change my playstyle because the whole rushing thing that I normally do was not working out at the beginning. I decided I was going to start making use of what was provided to me. So hey, if you think this gameplay is campy, then it's Choppy's fault, not mine. <laughs> So what I did was, I started trying to watch lanes, I'd prone out and deploy the bipod, if it would actually friggin deploy. That's another thing, how many years have they been creating Battlefield games for, and they still can't make the fucking bipod work correctly, are you kidding me? 
But anyway, so I'd prone out and just watch the lanes, and it turned out very well for me, I must say. Having the bipod on the M tower was weird at first, but when I actually started using it, man, I was killing it! Now I'm just gonna go through the rest of the kit quickly because I'm running out of time. The Magnum is great for finishing off guys at a distance or even in close, but it really is a skill cannon. So make sure you take your time, aim carefully, and just pull that trigger at the right time because the hip fire is bad and you definitely want to stay away from just spamming this thing from the hip. I tried using the PLD and the Soflam in other maps, obviously not Locker, but they're really not that useful if you don't have a team of engineers relentlessly firing rockets at your targets. Most of the time, I'd just throw the Soflam up looking down a tank lane just to try and scare them into backing off a bit, and I'd use the PLD to spot helis as much as possible, but again, all it really does is spook them into backing off for a few seconds unless, like I said, the team has engineers who are actively shooting your targets. So that's going to do it for this week, guys. The last clip here is just something kind of funny I wanted to show you. So I changed my name to Hey Drop Ammo to see if that would help some of these hopeless support players clue in to what I'm doing when I'm in their face yelling at them. And uh, here's a great example of why I get so frustrated with support sometimes. I'm just yelling at this guy and he does not give me ammo. Some of the other guys in the lobby got a kick out of it and so I thought I'd, I'd include it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video guys or found it helpful at all, make sure you leave it some love by clicking that like button down below. If you're new around here, I'd love for you to join the community and hit that subscribe button. And I've got a special video I'm working on to celebrate my channel passing 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys rule. Thanks for watching. Love Grizzno.